Hi, today we're going to talk about Critical Path CSS. I'm here with Paul Kinlan. Um, so, external style sheets are one of those things that are render blocking, which means that most browsers will actually wait until all of your CSS is downloaded before it's going to even start trying to paint or, or render on your page. Now that can mean a really, really terrible user experience because um, they'll see like a white page or unstyled content before you know they can actually start playing around. Here's a, a really great demo page by Stoyan Stefanov. So we're trying to load up this page at the moment. Um, it seems to download at least some of the markup, but now it's trying to load up the CSS. And I'm just not seeing anything on the screen. This is because there's no sort of critical path CSS optimized for this page. And only now do we see some styled content. So we want to try getting rid of this so that users can see stuff a lot quicker on the page. Yeah. And you just wrote this like awesome article about this and you've been working on some, some yeah. tooling around it. Cool. I have. Yes, you have. <laughs> you already thought about it. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, so we've been working on this tool called uh, PageSpeed Insights. Um, it's it's existed for desktop for a while, but we've just integrated some mobile stuff. And I was actually testing in my blog to see kind of how well it performed. It was pretty bad. It's got like 34 and it's about 80 now. Um, and there's some simple things I could do, like adjust the caching and a whole lot of other stuff. But one of the really frustrating things was this eliminate external render blocking JavaScript and CSS. And you can still see I've got this issue right now. Um, and basically what it's saying is like you don't, like as Adi said before, is that you don't want to block the page from loading, especially on mobile, um, because you're waiting for some CSS. Um, so we try and analyze you know, all these styles at the top of the page um, and tell you whether you can kind of improve your site. Uh, and PageSpeed does it, um, but I don't use PageSpeed, and I yeah. wanted to work out a way to actually try and find what the styles were that were basically I could use straight away to make the top portion of my page or the book the whole content render. Cool. So if you can use PageSpeed, you, you should. But if not, yeah. you know, I know a bunch of people can't. Um, this is really cool. So there's this um, there's this bookmarklet you put together. What what does this actually do? Uh, so it actually does a couple of well, a couple of things. One thing <laughs> in particular. Uh, it basically walks through DOM using the DOM tree walker uh, and works out whether an element is visible uh, in the very top portion of the page or not, um, basically what is visible on the screen. If it is, uh, it goes off, extracts the basically the CSS selectors and the subsequent styles that are inside them, and then just basically munches them into an order, like into the list that they're uh, applied uh, inside the actual selector itself. Cool. Should we show people how it works? Yeah. Right, so this is the bookmarklet that Paul put together, um, and we're just going to try it out as a Chrome DevTools snippet. So I'm just selecting the source for this. Um, this is the Chrome DevTools doc site. Um, I'm just going to open up the DevTools now. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is head on over to Sources, and we're going to try this out as a snippet. So I'm going to create a new snippet. What should we call this? Amazeballs. <laughs> Amazeballs, right. Amazeballs.js. Right. So I've just pasted the snippet in there. I'm going to escape to open up the console so you can see what this does. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is go and run the snippet against the current page. So there we go. And it's output some CSS into the console. Now, this is the critical part CSS, yep. yes? This is the basically the CSS that is applied to the very top portion of the page. Awesome. So we're going to take this. Now, the first thing I'm going to do on this page to demonstrate um, whether any of this is actually useful is head on over to the elements pane, um, and I'm going to find the main CSS for this page. I think it's called something like screen.css. So walk the DOM tree, find your style sheet. I'm just going to go and delete this node. Um, and what you'll notice now is that there's like there's no CSS being applied to this page. Um, it's really just the default browser style sheet that's being used. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, critical path CSS that uh, the polls bookmarklet is generated. I'm going to head on over to sources um, and I'm going to go to the sources um, sub pane. I've got another style sheet here I'm just going to get rid of. Um, I'm just going to paste in what his bookmarklet has generated for me. And now what you can see is that it actually seems to have done a fairly decent job of um, generating just the styles needed for this part of the page. Now it's, it's not perfect, right? Yeah. Um, but it, it looks pretty yeah. good. I mean, it doesn't pick up on some pseudo selectors like hover and a couple of other things because they're not applicable once it does the scan. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's got pretty much. It's, it looks pretty good. Yeah. It hasn't got fonts. Some of the fonts, but yeah. This is it's not it's not a first you know a bad first step, right? Yeah. Um, now, if we if we scroll down the page, what you'll notice is that um, there's not really any styling for this for this main body content because it, that's not in your critical path. Yeah. Um, we scroll down, you see there's no styling on the footer or anything else like that. 
And uh, if you want to confirm, you know, what we're talking about, with, I'm just refreshing the page right now. Um, and uh, we're just going to scroll down a little bit and, and take a look at all the styles that are on this page um, normally. There's just a ton of stuff, footer styles, a lot of other things. But yeah, this it seems to work. Yep. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> um, so people should go check this out. Uh, yep. Uh, blog paul.kinlan.me. Catch me on Twitter, paul underscore kinlan. Uh, and obviously Google Plus, or you can just ping Gaddy. He's more popular. So. Ping him. I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> All right, awesome. Um, let us know what you think. We hope it's useful. Cool. Cool. Bye.